maybe that'll work. But it's been about, I don't know, 16 hours since we laid this up. The uh, leftover resin's in here, pretty well hardened up. It's kind of weird, kind of sheen to it, but it is hard. So I'm able to demold it. Uh, let's take that. Very why you uh, lay down a bunch of stuff on your table whenever you go to make a part like this. Uh, it comes right out though, because silicone doesn't stick to epoxy very well. To get some interesting pooling, so a little extra resin. Got this. this tape. We were pretty close to the mold shape. I kind of didn't get you know right into the nooks and crannies like I wanted to. But, you know, it'll give me a shape. Question is, does not mechanically locked? Perfect. Cool. So there's that. Now, let's uh, pull away the extra bits. Let's see what this thing looks like on the inside. The silicone is kind of nice because it cuts super easily with a razor. Um, so I'll just do a score on one end of it, preferably on the side you're not going to see, because I will probably scratch the surface of the part. There's that. Let's give it, tear this dude off. May not have been, may not have cut all the way through. Give it another go. You can hear it. When it scratches the carbon, you can actually hear quite a quite a difference. Um, but you can see what the part looks like. There's a chance I could technically like just peel it away, but so far I haven't had any luck doing that. Because then like kind of you know roll it over itself on the outside, but. That hasn't worked for me so far. Granted, this is the uh, second time I've done this. So, basically an expert. This is what we're looking at. Curved, pultruded carbon part. It is uh, just a little bit of camera work here. It is quite shiny because the inside of that tube is actually very, very shiny, um, very smooth. There's some kind of denting to it, you know, it didn't really hold the perfect shape the whole time, but pretty close. You know, that'll make a curved, you know, say you wanted to make like a bark buster for a dirt bike or something like that. You know, this could be a sweet little hand guard in front of your hand. Um, but the part is like incredibly stiff. So work out pretty well. I would like to kind of post cure this a little bit. Um, what I might do is try to figure out how to pull it into shape. But I need to basically bake it for a little bit of time uh, at an elevated temperature because it's been cold in the garage so that's probably not that well set. Um, the part here at the end is a little soft. That's probably from a resin issue down here it's sorry down here it's actually quite quite stiff but these end pieces I think I didn't quite get the resin content I wanted but we'll see I'm gonna kind of mush it around a little bit more see if I can't get it rounder here and then I'm gonna bake it for a little while at probably about a hundred degrees um, a little hot box for a little bit and then that'll make my part but I think the the finish of it is really kind of fun because you can actually still see the fibers on the part. But this make, should make for a very, very strong piece. This piece kind of ended up shitty. I'm um, assuming that's probably from handling the mold before it was cured. But from raw roving to a pull treated hard part. Pretty cool, huh? So, hope you like it. Uh, if it's useful to you, let me know. If it's not, don't let me know. <laughs> well, thanks so much.